Hey YouTube, it's Bobby with KCA Ranch and Homestead. Today I wanted to show y'all a little quick project here on the property. We are going to expand our garden to an area that doesn't have water. So I'm going to make a quick and easy little water trailer with a IBC tote with water hose connection fittings so that we can add a uh, drip tape system or a soaker hose system to our potatoes and cucumbers that we're going to plant uh, pretty far out way out there two or three hundred yards from the nearest water it's just a temporary thing we're going to try out some new areas for gardening and uh, anyway I'll be right back so what I got is a little five by eight trailer that I really don't use anymore I used to use it a lot when I only had a Jeep, uh, but now I got a truck and a mule and all that. So this little trailer has been handy for hauling different things around the, the property. Hooks up to the mule trailer hitch pretty good. This thing's going to weigh about 2,000 pounds when it's full of water. Um, we'll see what happens with these axles. I may not fill it up all the way. But basically what you need, and I'm horrible about links and parts, but you're going to go to Tractor Supply or a store like that and get this threaded piece that screws right on to your IBC tote. I don't know the name of it. It's about a two inch fitting. Um, you may have to buy a couple different ones depending on the thread. I think these are called NPT. I can't remember. It's got a stopping point where you don't want to go too far and then you're going to use this little handle here to control the water flow but I didn't like that obviously because you can't connect anything to that so what I did I found this PVC piece female piece with threads that goes directly onto the little uh, fitting from tractor supply and it gets on there pretty snug but you got to be careful because you go too far. There you go. And then I glued in this little converter I can't, or adapter into the two inch fitting down to this three quarter inch, I believe, PVC. Then I dug through my junk pile of pipe and I found this. What is this? This is a little threaded female adapter that goes on the end of the three quarter inch PVC glued that on there that is a water hose size thread so then all you got to do is glue that into there stick it in until it stops because there's a little lip about a half inch three quarter inch in there and then you can put whatever you want on the end of that you can put a Y so you can run two hoses you can connect drip tape you can connect a soaker hose or a regular water hose and then I can use my mule to haul this heavy water trailer out to that remote area way out there with all that sunshine right there we got a lot of shade up here our main garden is right there in that sunny spot but it's just not big enough for everything we want to do and the potatoes are taking up a lot of room so anyway i'll be right back after i get everything fitted up okay so i put uh some pvc kind of quick set pvc glue on the inside and outside I had to set the camera down because it was starting to set up. So I had to set the camera down and hurry up and shove that in to the little lip inside. So now I can just let that sit. I even found a little extra piece of insulation here to go on here that I'll trim up. I'll put some uh, plumbing tape, plumber's tape here for whatever fitting we use. I'll probably just use this little Y fitting so we can run two different hoses and 250 I think gallons of water 
and a portable station or I can I don't know if my tractor is strong enough to use the uh, pallet forks to pick up 2,000 pounds I think a pound of water weighs about eight I mean a gallon of water weighs about eight pounds anyway just a quick little project um, hopefully it works and doesn't leak thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please do we're getting close to uh, possibly monetizing this thing even though I haven't made a lot of videos lately but we are over a thousand subscribers now so thank all y'all for that bye hey I'm back ended up with a digging through my junk pile and found a quick disconnect don't know how that helps but it's nice when you have something in your junk pile and you end up using it so let's see how there we go and i want it to just kind of like drip i don't have that much water in it right now you can kind of see it dripping the water level is barely high enough. But anyway, that's it. We can run two, circle ho two soaker hoses and go off to different sides of the trailer for different patches of vegetables or whatever. Shut it off when filling or not in use. Thanks for watching.